So we're in the sewers. This is episode two in the series of, I forgot to um, plug the microphone in before I ran Fraps, and so Windows didn't associate the two together. It seems that lately in Windows, it's the sound management has gotten really, really strange. I mean, I'm sure it used to be that if I plugged in a set of headphones while something was running, it would just pipe through to where I to whatever I was listening to it on. But now it seems that when you run a program, it, run, it uses whatever hardware profile is set up. And if that hardware profile changes, then it doesn't actually make any difference to whatever programs are running. So I run Fraps, and then I plug my microphone in, so because the microphone wasn't registered before I ran Fraps, it didn't bother to register it afterwards. And that, I think, is why we've got this voiceover after the fact. And I have to try and remember everything that we were doing. For an hour and three quarters. Drachma really lays the smack down on some of these guys. Helps that they're red affiliated and I've got Drachma set to purple. But he's got some serious attack power behind him. These guys are pretty cute. I feel bad beating up on them. Not that I'm doing much beating up on them, everyone's missing. But Drachma's missing. I think I made that mistake in my original commentary as well. <laughs> Said everyone was missing and I'd registered it missing me as me missing it. What can you do? Yeah, at this point I was heading back the way I came to make sure there was no chest at the end of the hallway that I'd missed. I didn't know what the... Um, the pop-in was like, so I wanted to make sure I hadn't missed anything. I really do love the music in this game. The dungeon music, the battle music, everything. These guys start to do something a little bit uh, annoying. I don't know why I was sat here for so long. I, think I was just checking my color matches there. Making sure I wasn't uh, going into this with a weak color combination. It still makes me giggle when you go when someone tries to run and it doesn't work. Instead of saying failed or couldn't run away, it says miss. That's that really annoying move. I mean at least it has the grace to take itself out when it doesn't. But you know it does a lot of damage. I mean for a normal enemy 200 odd damage is a lot, plus a poison vice. In terms of RPGs, Skies of Arcadia is a little bit weird with status effects. There aren't different cures for different status effects. A Curia Crystal takes care of everything, except for being unconscious, which you need a different type of item uh, to recover from. And status effects also don't persist out of battle. And there's not a huge amount of them, actually. Like, I don't ever remember burning or freezing, or anything like that. You've got poison, silence, means you can't cast magic, and there's a status effect, it's not really the same as paralysis, but you can't use super moves, you can only use attacks, normal attacks. I think, 
I could be wrong on that one. Uh, there's also confusion. Which is annoying because, unlike just in Pokemon, where if you're confused you hit yourself, if you're confused in this you start attacking your other teammates. So you want to get rid of that one pretty quickly. But a lot of the status effects you can just leave. You know, especially towards the end of a battle, you know, you can just leave them like I did there with poison. And uh, nothing bad comes of it. Start to see a, a wider array of enemies now as we go in. And the upshot of doing this style of commentary is that I can, I guess I can make it a bit more interesting. You know, I can, I don't, I don't no longer have to worry about the spur of the moment stuff. And I can come up with topics. But on the downside, it's recording twice as long. Sorry folks, you're only going to get this if I ever make another hardware fuck up like that again. I'm not going to be planning to do this every time. This was another fight where it seemed everyone ganged up on Aika. I think they know she's the weakest of the lot and wanted to take her down. It's nice when you get a counter attack that helps mop up enemies. Especially when Drachma goes and misses someone. These catacombs are pretty poorly guarded, but I'm guessing that because they know there's a ton of monsters down here, they're not bothering to send any guards down. They're not expecting people to come across through here. Guard on Vice's weapon there. Just thinking about whether or not I should have healed Aika at that point, but I decided not to not to go for the overheal and just let it be. Seeing as Sacri crystals heal 500, there's no point using them on someone who's only. 250 HP down, you know. Paying more attention this time than I did earlier on. Little frame rate skip there. Now, another new type of enemy, Dementis. I remember these guys being a pain in the jacksie. First time I ever came across them. Really, at this point, everything else seems to be the danger. Dementus, you get to lay a hit on anyone. Few times, aside from aside from loopers, one of the few times I've seen uh, running from battle actually work for an NPC. We did it. Yeah, now now is a good time to heal like a. She really doesn't have a huge amount of HP compared to everyone else. I need to find a way of boosting that. And her defense is pretty low as well. I mean, she's obviously a support character as opposed to a main attack character. 
Just checking out what new magic Vice had learned. Incrim increases attack and defense. See, I mean, this game really does have a simplistic battle system. Like I said, there's a lot, a lot of, there's a lack of debuffs, and the buffs as well are pretty simple. I mean, you have buffs that do attack and defense at the same time. And you can't stack them either. You know, if someone has Ingram cast on them, you can't cast it a second time. It may not feel like it, watching this back, but the fight encounter rate is definitely a lot lower here than it is in the Dreamcast one. I decided I wasn't going to mess around in this one. I had enough spirit right off the bat, I was going to use Alpha Storm. Once again, everyone's ganging up on Aika. The counter mechanic is a bit weird in this game, I guess, because it's all about random chance as opposed to anything you do. You know, you think about it in most action games, you know, countering is something you actively have to do. And in a lot of RPGs, you know, go back again to using Grandia 2 as an example, um, countering was all about timing. It had a time based combat system where everyone had a uh, a bar along the bottom and as that bar moved up you got to a stage where you then put in your action put, uh, put in your command and then there was a small timer before you acted on it obviously things like using special moves and magic would take longer to act on uh, normal moves would happen almost instantly but if someone for example was on their way to hit you you could time your attack so that you hit them at the same time and you'd get a counter for extra damage and you'd push them a little back down the bar as well. Skies unfortunately doesn't have anything quite in quite that in depth. It really is just down to random number generating. And a lot of people would see that probably as a bad thing. You know, I guess from their RPGs they want more complicated um, combat systems. But I'm kinda happy that you don't have an awful lot of fluff getting in the way of what is otherwise a great game. I think they could have overcomplicated the combat system. And I think I would have really disliked it if they had. I mean, the, the simple combat system they have here works. And it's entertaining enough for me. And certainly when you consider this game is now 15 years old. Um... You know, I, I'm pretty happy with it. But the ship battle system really adds that extra dimension to the whole game. And we've only seen one so far, but we'll really see it play play out in a while. Yeah, I see their faster speed helped them out of that one. Can't dodge special moves. You can defend against them a bit more and lower their damage, but you can't defend. You can't uh, dodge them. Now the good thing is, I am fairly sure that when we came down here. In the Dreamcast version, there was an enemy that used Attorney and could kill you in one hit. Thankfully, we have not come across it. That's a dick move. But I could have been remembering that wrong. And spoiler alert, we never come across that spell in this dungeon.
think I was pausing on this screen trying to work out my next magic move. Trying to work out who should change to, to what. Can't remember what I decided, but you'll see. I get really paranoid about Sacri Crystals. And healing items in general. I always think I don't have enough of them. Yeah, I've got 26 right now. And by all accounts, that's a lot. But I am so paranoid that that isn't going to be enough to do me. At this stage I started getting confused with another dungeon in the game. And I was worried that in these chests uh, an enemy would pop out. Thankfully that didn't happen. I figured at this stage magic defense wasn't overly important because there's not a lot of guys casting big spells at us. So I figured I could trade two magic defense on Ica for two standard defense. Maybe help her survive a little more. Chance to poison target. Nice. It's a really low chance. I think we only see it uh, proc once or twice in this entire uh, series of these four videos where there's no where I have to record the voiceover afterwards. I think we only see it proc twice. And I think they're both on counters. The reason I kind of panic a bit when I see the Dementors guys, I am sure they have some sort of noxious, noxious spell that can poison people. So... I absolutely focus on them. Try and make sure to take them all out before they get a chance to do anything that I'll regret. One thing I always wondered about is having made your turn, does that lower your chance of being able to effectively counter? And that answers my question. I can still counter it even though she's had her turn. I just noticed a bit of a pattern. I also realised that I told Vice to attack the wrong Dementis, and the one he was meant to attack was already dead. But I noticed a bit of a pattern with uh, characters who'd made their move not being able, not countering quite as much as they would normally. But I don't think there's actually any effect. I think that was just me imagining things. I wish in this game you could see a better effect of the armor you wear. You know, I, I wish that putting heavy armor on Vice would show up on a person. It's nice that you see the weapons change, but I really would like to see something else. Yeah, no need to heal. Ah, this looks safe. What can go wrong running across this cracked pathway over the open sky with thunder and lightning raging below? In case you hadn't noticed, Valua is under the yellow moonstone. They are powered by lightning. It's a very stormy location. And nothing can go wrong, apparently. I think if I had to level any criticism at Skies of Arcadia, and I guess I do, to be fair, a lot of its dungeons, certainly early on, are very, very linear. I guess a lot of dungeons in games are, but there's not, there's like not a huge amount of strange puzzles to solve. Yeah, something's obviously coming up, so I give Ica a quick heal. Save point. <laughs> it's probably nothing. Well, we'll see about that. What's up these stairs? Oh! 
that looks safe. I bet he's really friendly. Let's go punch him in the face. This is the start of what is a really action-packed hour in the game. You have this guy, then immediately after you face another boss up top. Then you come out of here and do another action sequence where you face a few enemies really quickly. Then you face another mini boss and then you face a ship battle. And it all happens in the space of an hour, hour and a half. So early on, I'm just feeling this guy out. And seeing what I can do. I realise I should probably use Ingram at some point. boost his attack power. I have Ica try Piri, or I was going to. I ended up not. I decided they could just focus instead and gain some SP. I thought with him being green affiliated, Perry might do quite a bit of damage. I took this as a buff turn. And in hindsight, I wasn't thinking very clearly because he has a not a very obvious pattern, but he doesn't cast two special moves in a row. So I should have waited until he'd had a special move turn. Done stuff. So I should have guarded here. Aika ends up poisoned, and I end up having to waste a turn now, basically healing her and curing her. And I've yet to lay a hand on this guy. And, and at this point I've cottoned on that he's not going to use two special moves in a row. And that it's probably safe to let Aika cure herself. This should work. It's not a very interesting start to a battle, I know. You can see all the skull and body parts floating around in him. Obviously some sort of guard. Stopping people from getting through. Have Ica try Perry Box. See how well that works. And I realise it's probably not a great idea because there we go. Not that powerful. Cutlass Fury, on the other hand, does more than twice the damage. And tackle. Just looks painful. Does even more. I mean, now things are things are turning around to look good for me now. <laughs> I got poisoned. And with how much I was fighting this guy, Vice's um, item, uh, Vice's sword ability should have procked at some point. But this guy's probably immune to poison. I figure it doesn't hurt to have him cast Curious stuff because he can take the biggest hit. So having him not guard for a turn isn't a big sacrifice. And he's not used special moves for a while. But aside that, I ain't gonna stop me. I skipped most of the animations now. You guys have seen the, uh, you guys have seen these battle animations play out. And now we get the lovely, glorious music play out. 
And everyone guards just in time. Aika still takes a beating from that one. 140 damage compared to the 90 of everyone else. And look how much poison does to her. And she, her defense is terrible. So I give up a, a turn to make sure she's kept alive. And then I realized Drachma has enough spirit points to use tackle. Let's try this. I figure, yeah, let's run this guy through. If that got picked up, my throat just made a weird noise. Here goes. I thought the healing items were always supposed to go at a priority. Apparently not. Ah. One thing I noticed. Um, I said a few videos ago that the GameCube version apparently had heavily compressed sound over the Dreamcast version. And I couldn't really hear it but I can hear it in the characters' voices. During the battles especially, they sound pretty low quality. Also, you'll notice I've not cured Drachma of poisoning. I figure he is in no danger now of passing out. This guy has shown he's not going to hit anyone for more than a couple of hundred damage, and Drachma has got more than enough HP to ride that out. So I figure I'm not going to wish to cure a crystal on him, I will just... Let, let him sit. Let him sit till the end, and let the uh, let the effect wear off after battle. One more guard turn. Yeah. That doesn't do a huge amount, but every little helps, I guess. switch people's magic background to what I want to get experience for. And we're obviously at the end. And that is one dead ass blob. Is it over already? I always tend to use Cutlass Fury more than Tackle because for the amount of extra damage Tackle does, it costs a lot more spirit. But hey, that's all for next time on Skies of Arcadia.